now is an exciting time to be studying economics. Because why? Things like price mechanism has become very instant, has become very real life. These things can be more annoying okay, than fun, but I think most of the time, demand and supply as concepts and the price mechanism actually serves us pretty well. I'm going to bring you an example. One, an example of durance. Another example will be an example of grab. Let's start first with durance. And I think that durance is a very interesting example because I subscribe to this durance delivery website. And you can go and actually Google durance delivery and see what you find. And I subscribe to this durance delivery website and since I'm on their email mailing list, they actually send me updates to durance prices on an almost daily basis. Now, do you know how I purchase durance? I don't purchase durance because, oh, today I feel like buying durance. No. So the, the prices of durance actually fluctuate very greatly. But I'm a very firm believer that we should not overpay for durance. So no matter how, how much I feel like eating durians, I will not buy durians based on that I feel like eating. I buy durians based on the price. So on a day-to-day -day basis, the durian prices actually fluctuate. And because I'm being updated by this email list of these prices of durians, when the durian prices actually fall very significantly and I think that hey, it's a good deal, it's a good bargain, I will actually go and buy up this durian. I will actually order and they will be delivered to me on the same day. But have you actually thought about it and think about it? Why is it that the prices of durian fluctuate very greatly? It's because when these sellers of durians, they have excess stock. These durians that they cannot sell, it's going to go to waste anyway. So for them to get rid of these stocks, they want to bring down prices and then consumers like me will be. You know, I'm very sensitive to price changes, which is that I, I don't need to have durians. But if it's a good price, I don't mind. I will snap up. I will be the consumer that steps into the market and snap up some of these durians, helping the seller get rid of these stocks. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. Price mechanism is beautiful in that way. Another example, grab rights. The olden days, they want to flag for a taxi. I realized that uh, everybody cannot get a taxi when they most want to get a taxi. And when you don't need a taxi, taxis are everywhere. Why is that so? Because the price is fixed. Now with this instant demand and supply mechanism, apps like Grab and Uber, what they do is that they raise the prices of these taxi rides, these Grab rides or Uber rides, when a lot of people want to take a ride. And this increased price will like send a signal to people, oh the price is, is good now. right now. As a driver, I'm going to go out, I'm going to go and drive because this is a good price. Let's go out and drive at this price. Right, so it will actually relieve some of this excess demand in the market because the suppliers will say, hey, you know, this price is good, I'm going to come and drive now even though I'm actually quite busy. This is a good price, it's irresistible, I'm going to come in and drive. So it's kind of a win-win situation because as a consumer, you get a product when you need it and as a supplier, you get better prices. So demand and supply or the price mechanism is exceedingly efficient most of the time. But there are cases when the market actually fails. When is it exactly that the market fails? The market fails when you smoke. This secondhand smoke affects somebody else. When you make selfish decisions like if the entire population, they are just ignoring the case that, oh, you know, bubble tea and your soft drinks is going to cause diabetes. Now, there is actually an implication that diabetes has on the rest of the population which is that it causes healthcare costs to go up. When healthcare costs go up, the entire population has to pay higher taxes to pay for these extra healthcare costs. So drinking of this bubble tea is an individual decision that affects the rest of the population. So this is the reason why you will need to step in to address these cases of market failure. Or even in the case of vaccinations, you think that the vaccination is a very individual decision. So you make this decision based on your own costs and benefits. But your decision has an implication on third parties around you. Again, this is where the market fails to allocate resources efficiently. So learn about market failure and it will help you to understand when exactly the price mechanism fails to allocate resources efficiently.